I never wanted to be a race driver. When I was young, I thought I was going to become a, a gardener. No noise, no nothing, and uh, the peace. I went to Le Mans, specifically Le Mans 69, who was a very special edition for a number of uh, situations that were totally unpredictable. You win races because you have the right tool. Who won the race is those who prepared this incredible GT40. That was the mechanics that did a really a, a super job. It's clear we were not supposed to win with that car, but still you can win. First you have to dare and never give up. The race become legendary because starting last, it still gives you the option to win a race sometimes, so you never know everything may happen. The race was unpredictable for a large number of horses. Nobody knew if it was going a GT40, going to win it, or a Porsche. And I had to wait for something different uh, the last lap. The idea was, I had to follow him down the straight to be sure to arrive first at the end of the straight to be able to beat him. So, what did I do? I put my blinker on, I run at slow speed on the right side of the track, so he passed me. I was able to go back behind him to get a good toe at the end of the straight and to pass him at the end. And I knew he could not overtake me afterwards. Only 120 meters between uh, two cars, two seconds, after roughly 5,000 uh, kilometers. I know second it's not pleasant, but Gérard Larousse, and, who was one of the drivers, and Sermat, the other driver, they gave us a real hard time, and that's the reason where that win is so special. The GT40, it's one of the few cars, or maybe the only car who won two times. Same car, same chassis. Two times in a row, and that's fairly, uh, fairly unique, and that's why the name Iconic is really the right word. The sound looks good. And for those who love racing, the music of a V8, it's really a music. We love to hear that engine starting, the car look good, it's in the famous light blue and orange color of the Gulf Oil Company. The steering, the leather is a little bit cracked now, because we are talking uh, about something we've done 50 years ago, but uh, it still have the same smell, the same noise, the same pleasure. Fascinating. No downforce, but also no power brake assistance or no power steerings. And as the, there was no downforce, it was heavy, uh, only two drivers. It was demanding, but the most demanding part definitely was to keep the car in one piece and being able to save it to finish eventually the race at speed. You have to be smooth and kind when you start. You cannot use the clutch, neither burn the clutch or wheel spin and all these things. And it's easy with a big engine or has a good torque, you know, you just go, you change gear, quietly, boom, boom. It's a great memory, really, it's unique. It's really unique. There are some stories you can't, you can't write, it just happened. And for me, it happened the right way.